Hello everyone, Dragonfly here with another mission in DCS World and the AV-8B Harrier. Today we're going to be doing some casts. And the mission, Close Air Support, FARP Defense. Troops in contact about seven miles northeast of us. And we need to contact Warhorse on COM2 two, channel 270 immediately. They want us to load up with a couple of Iraqi any personnel bombs. We'll load up with some uh, unguided rockets and a gun pod with armor piercing rounds. So let's get the uh, loadout started first. Then we'll talk about some things. So the pods, I want. Armor piercing gun pod, bombs, I want just one rock eye on each pylon. Each of the inboard pylons. And some rocket pods with uh, heat rounds. Those are those will work against light armor. Intel said that these uh, this enemy force may have a couple of APCs with them. That's a pretty heavy fuel load. I'm going to bring it down to about 60%. I think it's just a total weight of 21.6. So we'll be doing a short takeoff off of this MARP. Uh, it's too heavy. 20,500 is max for a vertical takeoff. So we'll do a short takeoff. Request refueling. Request rearming. So while he's Copy. refueling us, we'll, first thing we'll do is, like they said, immediately contact uh, Warhorse of 270. Dragonfly Warhorse, I'll copy. Loud and clear, Warhorse, go ahead. Troops in contact, contact JTAC on frequency 236 airborne for the situation report. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll do a quick pre-flight, and then I want to show you the map here, uh, just to show you what's going on on the battle. Okay, our exterior lights are off. Uh, we're doing a short takeoff, so I want this nozzle stop 60 degrees. I want to be in nose wheel steering. I want the flaps all the way down short takeoff position. We'll go red on the HSD because it's easier to see. Tack in, turn it on, channel 40 for the FARP, enter, altitude alert, 100 feet, so it's not going off all the time. Uh, radar altimeter is what we want, we don't want the barometric. Refueling complete. Turn that light up and turn the expendables to uh, the chaff and flares to auto. Our bingo will be 1,500 feet, 1,500 pounds. Now I'm going to go over to the F-10 map here. This is our far pier, and the situation that we have is we have about 10 Marines in defensive positions in this uh, tree line here. We also have about 10 uh, rearming complete ground troops and two APCs. So those APCs would really tear up these Marines if we don't uh, take those out. We also have a JTAC. He's up here on the roof where he can pretty much see everything. So he's gonna, he's gonna be a big help. Okay, now for takeoff data, nozzle rotation airspeed 69. I'll hit V-stall. NRAS comes up, 69 on the upfront controller, enter. 60 degree nozzle stop, which we've already set, 443 feet for the ground roll. Gross weight, 21.7. Okay, that all looks good. We'll go back to the early warning page. Stabilizer trim is neutral, at two degrees nose down. Flaps are in stow, we need to turn the water on up into the takeoff position. We're ready to take off. We'll take off, we'll get out over the coast and uh, over the water and uh, call up the JTAC. 
Caution, caution. Parking brake is off, power's coming up. 80% I'll release the brakes. Power continuing up. Nozzles back. Which is had up into the pitch carrots. Nozzles coming forward. Back towards zero. To increase our airspeed, 120. Gear up, water off, 140. Flaps up into the auto position. Nozzles continuing towards zero. Start a little bit of a right turn out over the water. And power back below 100%. And we'll do about a 10 degree climb out. That'll be good. Fence in. Master arm is on. Air to ground on the HUD. For the rock eyes, uh, I want to use CIP and a primary fuse. For the rockets, I'm going to shoot them four at a time, so I'll do a quantity of two, enter, and a multiple of two, enter. Check that down here, two, two, that checks. So our weapons are set up. We don't have to do anything with the gun. Let's contact the JTAC and see what's going on. He's on 236. It's a DCS JTAC, so we'll go into that menu, the F9 menu, JTAC, Whiplash, and check in for Whiplash, 15 minutes. Whiplash, 1 1. This is Dodge 1 1 1. Golf, Golf 1 1 6 7 9000. Armed with Mark 20. Rockets. Playtime is zero plus 15. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? Dodge, one, one. This is Whiplash, one, one. Type one in effect. Advise, ready for nine line. Okay, ready, ready to copy. copy. Line is as follows. One, two, three, NA. MSL, APC, Golf, Golf, 3, 3, 0, 9, 7, 8, 9, 9, marked by Willie Pete, 0, Southwest, 13,000, Egress, South. Advise when ready for remarks and further talk on. We certainly don't need to be up at 16,000 feet. Let's get back down around 7,000 feet. Okay, we're ready to copy the ready remarks. Ready to copy remarks. Request Mark 20. Final attack heading 40170. Mark 20 is not going to do anything against an APC, so we'll probably go ahead and use the uh, rockets. We do have a, a flashing message light, which means that we have target information on the cast page on the auto, automatic target handling system that's data linked it up. So let's go to the cast page. See the nine line information he just gave us is in there. We want to use that. We'll hit use. The up front controller is activated. We'll hit one. We want target point one. T1. And if we go over here, let's bring the power back. We don't need to be going real fast right now. T1 shows up on the HSD a bunch of other information that I don't like, so I'll get rid of that data, but it also gets rid of T1, so we have to hit waypoint increment all, go to the ODU to target point, hit 1, enter, and that brings back the target point. Alrighty, let's go ahead and level off here. Now that target point is at 105 and 23 miles, so let's start heading over that way. I'm also going to designate that point. That'll give me the target error, which you can't really see very well under the reticle right there. It is. And I'll also go sensor select back to bring up the DMT. Once we're pointed at it, we might be able to see something. Or at least we'll be able to see the target area. 
that box out there is the is the view of the uh, DMT, the dual mode tracker. All right. Not seeing anything right now. So we'll get in a little bit closer. Turn over to 132. Back. 16, golf, golf, 3, 3, 0, 9, 7, 8, 9, 9. Final attack heading 0, 4, 0, 1, 7, 0. Read back correct. Report IP inbound. IP inbound is at about 10 miles out, so we'll do that. We'll speed up now because we want to get to attack speed. See a vehicle right there. So we'll go for that one. We'll need to come under these clouds a little bit. Inbound? Dodge, one, one. IP inbound. Dodge, one, one. Continue. Mark is on a deck. All right. Let's see if we can find it. Yep, there's smoke. Contact, Contact the mark. mark. From the mark, northeast, 270 meters. Northeast, okay. These V's over here are actually our troops. That's heat signatures off of them. As we get in closer, we'll get a lot of heat signatures off the enemy forces. Start getting our uh, eyeballs out where we can see. Go ahead and go onto the gun also. And I'll shoot a little below him. Dragonfly Whiplash, copy 5x5. Five five. Getting some chaff and flares as I come around here. I'm going to come in from behind them. Uh, it's uh, easier to kill an armored vehicle behind it. It's not, they're not as heavily armored behind as they are in the front. Right here, about four miles. Turn back in and see if we can find any other targets. The Intel brief said there were two APCs. I'm sure they're skedaddling now. There's the mark. Seventy percent for the gun to operate. 
it operates off of bleed air from the engine pneumatically, so you need at least 70%. Still got six rockets left. Now I gotta find him again. I'm up on the rocket Dodge. button. One, one. No further tasking available. Thanks for the support. You may depart. Now we're going to stick around and see if we can drop one of these rockets at least. And we've got enough gas. side to try to flank the Marines. Let's see if we can drop right in the middle of those V's. Six. Looks like a swing and a miss. Didn't get anything. Okay, so time to go home. Master arm off, V stall on. Make sure that nozzle stop is clear. I can select it 243 at 9 miles, so not very far over there. So just turn towards the uh, FARP. We'll do an overhead pattern to a vertical landing on the padded FARP. Well, I guess I should check my weight first. So for a vertical landing, yeah, we're down at 18,000, so that's good. Two 
261 at 8 miles. We took out enough of the enemy force for the Marines to be able to mop up the, uh, the rest of it. We'll take a look at that when we get on the ground. that airspeed, we're below 250 so we can put the gear down. Gear, water, flaps all the way to stow, nozzles, 60 degrees. Give myself a little bit of room here because I gotta slow down all the way to zero instead of 30 knots, which is what we slow down to on the ship. Okay, I'll start slowing down a little bit, bringing the witch's hat up to the zero degrees. Use my power to slowly come down to 325 feet. Break on, flaps all the way up, nozzles to 10 degrees. And the water off. Now let's take a look at the F-10 map and see what's going on on that little battle. It looks like about five enemy troops there. 
Looks like they're trying to flank the Marines. Let's take a look. Dragonfly Warhorse, I'll copy. That says they're retreating. Let's see how we did. Nine vehicles were killed, which includes uh, personnel. And it looks like we got three of them. The results are 100%. Score of 21. Well, thanks for being with me again today on this uh, mission. I enjoyed it very much. Hopefully you did too. And I hope to see you again real soon. So you all have a great day. Dragonfly out.